Hello everyone, my name is Michael Anthony, and I just wanted to introduce myself, of course, but I also wanted to introduce myself to those who don't know me as the ex-fiance of five years to the model Montgomery Nicholas Manabog. To those who do know Montgomery Nicholas Manabog, but doesn't know me, I'm sure my introduction might come off as a little bit shocking and surprising. I mean, how the hell do you know this man for so long and never know that he has a fiance for five years? How's that possible? <laughs> well, being with Montgomery, that's possible, unfortunately. I have to say that for the first two and a half years of my relationship with Montgomery, you know, my name wasn't even Michael. I had to change my name to Anthony and change my whole appearance, who I was and everything because of his parents being closet, you know, being very religious and being against homosexuals. And he had to be closeted and not let it be revealed that I was his boyfriend or that I was gay. So for two and a half years and me going over to his house with his family every other weekend, I changed my appearance dye my hair black, because I was always blonde with brown hair, dye my hair black, got blue contacts, got facial hair, the whole thing, you know? And instead I became Anthony, the Fresno State student, college student, living out there in Fresno, you know? Even though I'm really a gay boy named Michael living in the Antique of California, working at a veterinary hospital. But that was the persona I had to partake in and pretend to be just to be with that man, okay? Now that man, when I got with him, you know, he was gorgeous even then when we first got together. We got together in the year 2010 when I was 20 and he was 19, okay? But he was still gorgeous, but he was not the way you know him now, of course, you know? He had, for one thing, problems with acne. His face was covered in acne. Um, he didn't have that muscular, big, bilk, big built, ripped body either. But he did have a nice, like, a swimmer's built body, you know? And he still was modeling at that time. And I will say he was like a, a dream come true, a Prince Charming. He was so romantic and so charming. Always sitting there singing songs to me, sending me songs with my name in it, saying how much he loves me, um, getting dressed up in a tuxedo walking me out to a candle lit dinner, you know? I mean, just unbelievably romantic. It was wonderful, but he's a liar. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Hell, I was with him for four and a half, over four and a half years before I realized he was a liar, you know? But that's just how it was with him. He fooled a lot of people. He fools a lot of people now. Sad to say. Now, I wasn't a bad boyfriend. I was a good boyfriend and I was faithful, but I did have my issues. And I'll admit right now, I was not the best boyfriend because unlike Montgomery, I had a problem with drugs. I wasn't a drug addict, like a meth addict or anything like that, but, and I mean, I wasn't even much into drugs ever in my life, but I did get addicted to my pain pills and I did have a horrible pain pill addiction that took over my life. It messed me up badly. So yeah, because of that, I, I yeah, was not a good boyfriend and I have no problem admitting that I was fucked up for that. And that, that was my fault, my flaw, okay? But no matter what he says, because, you know, what he did was horrible to me. But he will always justify it by saying, I was a bad boyfriend because of the drug use. I'm sorry, but my drug use is nowhere near as bad as his going around sleeping with guy after guy with guy after guy, random men in, his, in the car that we shared, sitting there looking for married men to be with because they're on the down low, you know? Just being totally nasty, trying to get sex and sex and sex, okay? And doing it for so long without me knowing, you know? And trust me, those of you who know him knows how he comes off totally innocent, such a Christian, you know? And so kind and, 
you know, and he used to sit there and say about how horrible those people that cheated were and those people that cheat on their wife, those gay guys that cheat on their wife, oh, they're disgusting. They're gonna go to hell, you know what I mean? I mean, this is the man that he always acted like he was, you know? <laughs> it was a lie. It's a fake. He's full of shit. And when confronted on it, when it was all came out after four and a half years, and I'm devastated, his th reasoning is, well, I wasn't happy with you. You know, you weren't a great boyfriend because of the drugs, pain pills. I'm sorry. I know I fucked up there, you know? But also, to me, I know we've been together for almost five years, but our relationship to me has been over for quite a couple years, or at least a few years. Well, that's nice that it was over for you, but it wasn't over for me. I think that would have been great if I would have known that. You know? Especially when um, three months before I found out about all the cheating and everything came out into the light, he sat there and bought me a wedding ring and proposed to me himself. And wanted to marry me. That's the man that is so innocent. But also, with this man, he had kept me hidden away from the world. Okay? He sat there and I wasn't allowed to go meet any of his friends that he had because he didn't want them to figure out that I'm gay and I'm his boyfriend. I couldn't meet his, go with him to his modeling, you know, when he would do his modeling photo shoots because his photographer is going to sit there and realize I'm gay and then put two and two together and oh my gosh, she's going to realize that we're husbands or fiancés, boyfriends, oh God forbid, you know? I mean, just all of that, okay? He kept me hidden away in the world and it was not right and it hurt really hurt me bad you know that's why I get upset when you know after he goes to Hollywood and everything like that he sits there and gets this new boyfriend and then what do you know he's taking him to his photographer and taking pictures with him and introducing him to everyone and then he gets married to him and you know comes out of the closet with him and everything is like okay well you know what he did that with for this guy when they had been together less than a year. I had been with him for almost five years with this man. I had dealt with his lies, his cheating, his deception. He's phony, totally phony. And in that time, my grandmother and her girlfriend, her partner, had become very close to him. They had sat there and took care of him had him living rent free. I mean, they did, they spent so much money on this boy. They took care of him and he acted like he loved them and they loved him so much. They were closer to him than they were to even me, okay? So then when my grandma's partner is dying from cancer and she is wanting to talk to Montgomery, she wants her Montgomery and trying to keep calling him to talk to him and everything like that. She's sitting here dying, mind you, for two years, this was going on. And he refused to answer any of her phone calls, didn't care to contact her, nothing. Because he didn't care. He didn't care one bit. Because that's the kind of man he is. You know? When he was sit when she died, my grandma was upset and even told him, how could you sit there and be that cruel and disgusting to not even care enough to contact her or anything, not even try to go to a funeral, nothing. You know? And he always just comes up with excuses. So yeah, on his post, when he acts all so innocent and Christian-like, she sat there and posted a comment saying phony and yeah he deleted and blocked her you know what this man is just full of shit he really is and i am so glad to finally come out in the open and reveal him for the conceited piece of trash that he is after he had hurt me i'm the one that told him to go ahead and go to hollywood so that way he can try to make something of himself. I said, I forgive you. Let's try to have our last final month being together, being happy until you get your work transferred to Hollywood. And he said that he wanted to still be best friends with me and everything. And I told him I wasn't ready. I loved him too much. I needed time. And honestly, I did need time. It's been now, we've been broken up now since January 22nd, 2015. And until just recently, I didn't, it wasn't eight, ready to be friends with him yet. Okay. So, so then I sat there and um, went ahead and wrote 
to go ahead and try to make things up, okay? Sat there and sent a message actually just recently. And I went, it was probably about a few weeks ago and kind of told him, you know, like, hey, what's up? You know, how you doing? It's been a while, you know? Because we used to sit there and just check up on each other and make sure we're doing okay and everything like that. And then he had the nerve to sit there and say that he write me back and be completely cruel and I mean for no reason at all I just sat there and was like um I don't want to talk to you anymore you know I never gave you an impression that we were ever going to be friends and you know and things are uh you know you assume all this stuff and you know I mean just all this stuff that it was just unbelievable okay I never gave you the impression that we would be friends excuse me who was the one that wanted to be friends with me I was the one that wasn't ready you know, and you never give me the impression, fuck you, you know, I was the one that was not ready to be friends, you know, just because you finally have someone better that is worth it to be, for you to go out and be open with, doesn't mean that you have to treat me like, tra like trash, okay, I still loved you, <laughs> I loved you enough that it hurt to even be friends with you like that for all this time, you know, and I'm making that step, and then you have to talk to me like I'm some stalkerish boyfriend checking uh, going checking you out and because i mentioned about him having his husband he's like well that means he must be checking out my profile and shit like that it's like are you fucking kidding me i had only just found out that he had a husband remind you like not even a month before that okay and he's had this husband for a long time but he doesn't realize that he my family is all on his facebook so i even told him don't flatter yourself you know he's a conceited prick and i have no problem outing him for the monster that he is and like I told him which I know it got to him and I don't care I'm happy about it because I really do mean it that my biggest regret that I've ever made in my whole life my whole life the worst mistake I've ever made was the day I had chosen to buy a train ticket which ended up resulting in me meeting him for the very first time he is my biggest regret I've ever made in my life <sighs> Montgomery Nicholas Manabog you're a monster you are heartless, you are conceited, you are not anywhere, any any way at all a good person, at all, okay? I am not perfect. I've made my mistakes. I fucked up. And I admit to it all. I totally admit to it. I'm not perfect. But unlike me, you like to sit there and have this other, um, image, persona, belief about you. You want people to believe you are innocent and perfect. Well, baby, you really are not. You are nothing but a liar. And you're gonna get what's coming to you. That's just because you shouldn't have fucked with me and hurt me when we were together for five years and my love I had for you, my dedication and my faithfulness and I had for you. But for you to sit there and treat me like sh trash and hurt me again after we've been broken up now for over four years and I'm trying to be, you know, trying to move and take that step, trying to be friends with you and you're going to sit there and talk to me like the way you did and treat me like I'm nothing? You are disgusting. I cried that day. I mean, I literally, I've been, I got over him you know, for a long time, for years now. But a few weeks ago when he did that, I was emotional, I was in tears because he just reopened all those wounds, you know what? And he is not worth my tears. He's nothing but dirt upon my feet. So wait, enjoy your time now, Montgomery, because I'm gonna get you back. Just watch, baby. <laughs>